Hi, I'm Lena Mitchell with Sportsman's Warehouse, and I am going to share with you the recoil management kind of tips and tricks that I've learned over my last 10 years of being a professional competitive shooter. First off, you got to know what you're working with. So take a take account of yourself and be honest. How much are you do you have to work with to kind of counteract recoil? For me, it's not a lot. So I have to be really smart with my techniques and very efficient with the weight that I do have and how I use it to help manage recoil. So before we jump into what all that means, let's understand what recoil is. I'm gonna demo today with both a pistol and a shotgun because these are kind of the two main platforms that people struggle the most with recoil management. Now, what is recoil? Recoil, no matter what firearm it is, rifle, pistol, shotgun, it is always a motion that is directly back and up. It's not that hard, we're gonna do it one more time. Are you ready? Recoil, every time you pull the trigger is a motion back and up. So what is recoil management? That means we are managing that back and up movement. And the easiest way to do that is to preset our body's weight to do so. So that starts in our feet. Our feet, there are three distinct um, weight placements in your feet. You have what is positive, that's weight in the balls of your feet. You have neutral, flat-footed, and then you have negative, which is weight in your heels. Now, here we go. If I start, doesn't matter what my feet look like, if I start with my weight flat-footed, when recoil comes, that motion directly back and up, that is going to push my weight into the negative, into my heels. Now, if I'm trying to rapid fire and I keep shooting, I have nowhere to go but back. Even worse, if you start with the weight in your heels, even if you're in some super dramatic stance, but it's still in your heels, you will still get pushed back. So don't care what your feet look like to start with. But whatever your stance is, that weight has to be in the balls of your feet. I like to think of it as like my toes are eagle talons and I am digging into the ground. My toes actually curl up in my shoes. So your foundation and your connection with the earth, huge part to recoil management. So once we found that, now we're gonna take that concept all the way up. We're presetting our muscles and our body tension for recoil. We've got that back motion with our weight forward in the balls of our feet. Now what are we gonna do about that up motion? Well, with pistol, this is where it's kind of the most challenging. But we first take account of our elbows and our arm position. So recoil is up. If I were to tell you to push a post down into the ground, you wouldn't go like this. You wouldn't go, okay. Mm. You have no strength when your elbows are under. You also have no strength when your arms are locked. This is very easily demoed by put your palms together, push them together as hard as you can, push, 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 and start to bring them back to your chest. And you'll notice that you have the most strength right here. You also notice that your elbows go directly out to the sides not underneath. Plus, when you rotate your elbows out to the side, your arms don't actually physically bend up. So your bone structure, once again, helps you with that upward motion of recoil. So this applies with pistol. I'm not gonna shoot with my elbows under or my arms locked out because I have no strength or dexterity. I'm gonna bend them, rotate them out, bring the gun slightly into me, into my workspace. And here I can really create some good gripping strength and palm pressure. What that looks like on shotgun is, I'm not gonna have my arm all the way out straight. I'm also not gonna have my elbow under because recoil is a motion up. I need to rotate here so I can push down. And then we preset our muscles. So it's very easy. What I like to do with my students is I have them just put their hands out and I put my palm underneath and I make them push down into my palms. And what you'll notice is that you start engaging your shoulders, your back, your entire body. And that's the tension that you hold 
before you start shooting. So if I have my weight forward in the balls of my feet, my nose over my toes, my elbows out to the side, and I'm pre-setting for that upward motion of recoil by locking my shoulders down, all I have to do is hold that tension and every time I pull the trigger, my dot will return back to the target or my shotgun bead will return back. All right, so let's see that in action. Get loaded up here. I'm gonna make sure the weight's in the balls of my feet, my nose over my toes, never hips forward. Hips forward don't do you any good. Put those hips back, nose, toes. I'm gonna push my arms out, but not to full extension. Keep a nice bend in those elbows. Preset my arms for that upward motion and just pull the trigger. And there you go. Uh, Pre-setting your muscles and the body uh, weight that you have is the biggest tip I have for recoil management. When it comes down to speed, here's my next tip. Because why we're trying to control recoil so much is so that we can follow up with that next shot and that next shot and that next shot. If you're only ever trying to shoot one shot, your technique doesn't matter really. And recoil management is unimportant to you. So with recoil management comes speed and how you get faster is simply by understanding this. Our muscles naturally retract, but they do not naturally let go. So when you're trying to pull that trigger really fast and you're struggling, realize you don't need to focus on the pulling anymore. You actually have to focus on letting go of the trigger so that you can reset it to pull it again. Now we're going to apply all of that recoil management ideology of weight and everything to good old shotgun. <laughs> what I love about shotgun and why it was my first love in the shooting sports was because it was the most violent. <laughs> and I always tell people uh, shotgun shooting is like a wrestling match. You have to use every single part of you for every single shot and it is a fight. So. Everything from my toes to my nose when I shoot shotgun has to be totally locked in and prepared for that recoil, that motion back and up, so that my bead can return to target as quickly as possible. So I'm gonna get my good stance. I'm gonna have that weight totally forward, like I'm trying to reach out and stab the target. And then we'll see what it looks like. And there you go, 10 shots. Uh, shotgun will very quickly highlight your weaknesses, which is why I think it's a wonderful tool for learning recoil management and becoming aware of how to use your body weight, your bone structure, and your strength the most effectively.